You ever wonder why there's three prices for the same car? Trade-in value, private party value, and the dealer value? Why is that? Why is the same car three different prices? How could that be? How could that be? Oh, because the dealer, when you trade it in, has to get way less dirt cheap money for the car. They're not going to give you the value of the car because they got to resell it. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, trade in value. I got it. Private party value. Why is it that a person selling a car is selling the same car is worth less money than a dealership selling the car? I mean, there's a dealership warranty in the car right maybe sometimes in most cases yeah i mean because they can make money on a warranty so yeah give you the warranty give you that guarantee that stamp of approval listen you got our stamp of approval as long as you bring it back to our dealership to fix it <laughs> yeah, as long as you do you know what's in the warranty to a t oh we got you covered and you, you just got to pay for the warranty i mean that's that's all you got to do and there's no there's no money in that i'll tell you what um anyways but why is that? Because when they have to finance dealers, they have to finance these cars, they're not financing them as a buyer payer. We do our financing here. We're the finance company. We finance our own cars. We make the rules. We make the decisions. They have to go to a bank. They get a finance company to approve you. What that finance company does is give them less for their car. So when they buy that car, they have to sell it for an outrageously higher amount. Maybe not outrageous. That was probably, you know, probably too much i mean some places do charge an outrageous amount for the same car i compared to the cars we have we have are selling the exact same cars they'll be 2x our price sometimes 3x our price it's it's absolutely absurd um and it's a big ripoff that's a ripoff right there that's a ripoff dealer prices are ripoffs because they have to jack the price up to give you the financing you're already going to pay interest on it you're already going to pay interest on it so why why jack the price up oh because the bank that finances you is only going to give the dealership a percentage of that car. So the dealer has to jack the price up of a car to this level so that they can get their cost recouped. But the dealership gets to keep that down payment. That's where that's where they give you the 500 or 1000 down. Plus then they can throw that warranty out there cuz they're going to make a couple hundred bucks off you on the warranty and then they can throw in their dealer fees cuz that's where they're going to make the extra money there. And that's where they make their money. They don't even really make the money on the car. They make it on the down payment, they make it on the warranty, and they make it on the fees. The, the BS fees, basically. That's where they make their money. And you have to foot the bill for all those things that I just mentioned. In addition, you have to pay the bank that they picked to finance you that outrageously higher price for the car and all the interest that they're charging you. And we're the ripoff here. Right here, where we don't charge any of that. You see this? Well, then, no interest, no credit check. No dealer fees and no job check, no references, no full coverage insurance. None of that. On most of those places, you still have to have full coverage insurance, which is outrageously expensive. So come on down, any budget cars, where we are the best deal in the county. We are giving you the best prices, private party prices for your money. This is the place to be.